Hey, this is Anthony from Absolutely. Watch, decide, and ride. Welcome to our detailed breakdown of the new Revit Chicane Glove, available at Revzilla.com. This is the chicane new for the spring of 18. If we get a look at it, think of it as a hardcore race gauntlet cut down for everyday aggressive street riding. And if we look at it, I call it a street glove because it doesn't have the gauntlet, don't take it to the track, but it's still got all of the protection scheme as well as the bells and whistles and pre-curve that you expect from a full gauntlet that's going to raise the bar of protection. I'll also note this as well, if we think about seasonality, two to three season warm to hot weather. And I call it warm to hot weather because it's not fully perfed. It was full perfed, I say it's summer weight. I think you can stretch this mid spring through early fall depending on your temperature tolerance and depending on your coverage by way of how you might wear your jacket. Now three colors available and I will tell you it comes in, in the mid 100s below where you start to see race gloves come in, but a step up in cost over what you might expect from your kind of more mid-range short cuff or sporty gloves. The fit was surprising, and I say surprising in a good way. I'm wearing a size large. These days I typically wear large in Revit. They fit, they're a European manufacturer with more of an American cut. I wear it for frame of reference, a large in Icon, a large in First Gear, and I'm still in XL and Alpine Stars and Dionese. But if we look at it, what's surprising to me is that it has a nice pre-curve. It is aggressive and race styled. It has external stitching, which I expect to add to the comfort. But the big deal here is all of this mid-digital action. I'm gonna walk through that in a bit, we have TPRs and TPUs and some reflective that typically add bunching and seams on top of your fingers and you might feel that. In this glove, I absolutely don't and I was expecting to. So bravo Revit, you've put a lot of protection and flexibility and technicality into it without taking away from the comfort, fit, and feel factor of the glove. Now, use the size chart, we'll ship for free over 39 bucks. And I love if you click our logo, subscribe to us at Revzilla on our YouTube channel, leave me your comments, your questions, your feedback on this new chicane. Now, three colors available. This is the black, white, and red version. And if you look at some of the highlight reel here, on the back side of the glove, you're going to see nice big TPR pulling things together. It's got micro Velcro. It's mainly a goat skin construction, which is lightweight but offers great tactile response. Moving into the knuckles, this is the Trionic style race knuckle. This is going to be coated aluminum seated within polyurethane. It's vented, very technical. This is a similar knuckle that you'd see on the upper echelons of Revit race gauntlets. Notice big TPR flap here. You also have some roof for movement by adding a secondary panel that this knuckle armors are fixed to. And then we get back mid-digitally into our fingers. You're gonna notice harder pieces, or softer pieces rather, at the beginnings of the fingers where they're gonna meet your hand. And then ultimately, they get a little bit more refined as you move up. Notice three pops of reflective, and then when you get into your middle finger and your ring finger, these are big, heavy-duty TPRs meant to enhance a slide versus gripping, twisting, and pulling if it were to come in contact with the ground. Now, as I rotate things over, style stitching, a little bit of foam padding on the thumb, no accordion there. We do have reinforcement in the control patch area across the calluses in the crook of the hand. We've already talked about the externally stitched fingers, which add to the comfort. And I do think they get high marks for a completely covered out seam that's one solid piece of leather that comes all the way down to the ball of the thumb. Also notice here too, that this is a dual comp honeycomb slider. It's meant to slide, but also be a shock absorbing element if you happen to have it off and put your hands down. Now I didn't give you a ton of scaphoid protection, but the fact that you have a little bit of dense foam here at the ball of the thumb creates a bit of a raise and protects some of those bones here in the wrist. Outside or along the ulna, you have a little bit of a, a pop with this Revit logo. This is gonna be a TPU. It's a hard part, but again, not overly beefy. My only real gripe with this glove, and I only have one, is that this is a street-oriented aggressive glove that I can see a lot of different types of riders wearing in a lot of different riding styles that could factor into their everyday, and there's no touch tech technology. Finger and thumb at this point for anything street-related over 100 bucks, I wanna see the ability to work with my iPhone or Android device, and I don't see it here. So Revit, if you're listening, that might be an easy easy rolling change, or maybe the next iteration of this glove gets that pop. I would even say if you raise the price by 10 bucks to work it in there, I wouldn't be that upset. Now, the next step in your journey is to click the info button, your desktop, your mobile device, visit the product detail page at Revzilla.com, read other rider reviews. You shouldn't just take my word for it. As always, we'll ship free over 38 bucks. If you want to talk to a gear geek, see us at Revzilla.com or 877-792-9455. Thanks for watching our detailed breakdown. Remember, subscribe to us at Revzilla on our YouTube channel. Stay up to date with our opinion of the latest and greatest in the motor universe. I'm Anthony. We'll see you next time.